Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you some biochemical reactions in biochemistry. So first you have this y-axis and x-axis. y-axis is its velocity, usually millimole per second, and x-axis substrate concentration is usually millimole. If you will put 5 millimole of substrate, you will get 5 millimole per second. Velocity, if you will increase the millimole the concentrations of substrate to 10, you will get this 10, now it's 5. 10, if you will increase this to 15, you will increase the velocity to 15, let us say millimole per second again. And when you will increase to 20, it looks like this a steady st you will get relatively a steady state in velocity. If you will increase the velocity further to 30, you will get again the same velocity, which is here basically 30. If you will increase now pro uh, substrate concentration to 40, you will get the same velocity. 50 also, you will get the same velocity, okay? So from here, uh, from here till a certain concentration of substrate, the velocity will increase till the velocity reach to a level that it will not be able to increase the constraint. It will not be able to increase the velocity further, even if you will increase this is steady state level in velocity. Even if you will increase the substrate concentrations, you will not be able to increase the velocity. So what we will call this usually, we will call this as V max. Okay. We will call this as Vmax, which is the maximum rate possible to achieve with a given amount of what? Within a given amount, not of substrate, within a given amount of enzymes. What I mean by this, okay, here is the Vmax depends on what? Depends on, sorry, depends on number of enzymes. So the only way to increase the Vmax is by increase the number of enzymes, okay? is by increase the number of enzymes. Can you increase the Vmax if you increase the substrate concentrations? The answer is no, because here you increase the substrate to 20, 30, 40, 50, but the Vmax will remain the same. While we can increase the Vmax, I mean increase the level of Vmax from this level to higher level by which by only way which is enzymes increase the number of enzymes how you will increase the number of enzymes so you have to know that enzymes are proteins inside the uh, enzymes are a kind of proteins and the only way to increase the proteins when you will go inside the cell inside the cell nucleus gene dna sorry and gene so you will increase the gene expression increase the gene expression inside the cell and stimulate the cell to synthesize more enzymes okay and the only way to increase gene expression is by the process called induction okay this is very 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 high yield and important so you the process for increase the Vmax first induction which is the first which is the same as in gene expression means an increased number of enzymes so if you will see these words an increased number of enzymes gene expression induction one two three four three these three words mean Vmax I told you guys, in this step one, you need to understand the concept and you need to memorize some words by each concept. So now you have five words. One, induction. Second, gene expression. Third, number of enzymes. Fourth, Vmax. Fourth, Vmax. If you know these one, two, three, four very well, you will understand and you're able to answer the questions regarding the Vmax. How about the substrate concentration? Substrate concentration, if you will increase the substrate, if you will increase the substrate, Vmax what? Vmax remain the same. Vmax remain the same. And we can put out uh, this is the fifth concept. Okay. Can you draw for me how you will increase the Vmax in this? I will show you here. Sorry. Okay. I will show you here the Vmax increase from this level to this level, which is, okay, this, this is the new Vmax. This is the new Vmax that I have now. The only way to increase Vmax from this level to this level is by what? Is by induction, which is the same as an increased number of enzymes, the same as gene expression, okay? Okay, so let's continue to talk about biochemical reaction and now we're gonna talk about um, about the KM 
So you know this curve now very well. This is the substrate concentration and this is the Vmax. So you will have, now you will see another term, which is the Km. Basically, Km is on the y-axis, which is on the concentration of substrates. Km means is the concentration of substrate to produce half of the Vmax. So if Vmax here 50, here the Vmax is 20. So from the curve, Km, Km is the concentration of substrates, okay, to produce what? Well, to produce half of Vmax. Okay, notice that the concentration of substrate to produce half of Vmax called Km. Km is the concentration to produce half of the Vmax, not to produce the whole Vmax. Okay, this is the first thing about Km. The second thing is usually Km related, this is related, related to the one of affinity. What does this mean? If you will have, what does this mean? If you will have high Km, okay, or if you will have low Km, if you will have high Km means, what does it mean? Means low affinity, okay, and while if you will have low Km means high affinity. Again, what does this mean? I will explain, I will show you now. Affinity means, the affinity is the power of binding between enzyme and substrate. When you will see the Km high, means you will have high substrate, means you will have low affinity. How? Here, here are the enzymes, one, two, three, correct? Okay. Can you tell me how many substrate you will see here? It is high. How many? I mean, how, how much the concentration? It is high Km. So the Km here high, so means you will see a lot of what? A lot of substrate. You will see a lot of substrate here. Okay. On the other hand of the picture, low Km means here. Again, number of enzymes are the same. I'm not talking here about the enzymes. Remember, the number of enzymes depends on what? Vmax. We finished this from the last video. I'm here going to, I'm here talking about the substrate. So low Km means you will have just a few substrate. One, two, three, let us say, or maybe four. So here the substrate, what? The, here's the substrate small, okay, or maybe few, sorry, and here you will have large amount of substrate, large substrate, okay, or many substrates, or here few. So, now imagine with me, when the enzyme, when the enzyme see, uh, when the enzyme see just a few of substrate, he will go to the substrate so strong and bind to substrate strongly because they want the substrate. So the binding power between the substrate and the enzyme will be higher. This is the binding power will be higher, which I mean the affinity of enzyme to substrate here will be high because you will have just a few substrate in the sample. While, because, yeah, because it, Every enzyme, each enzyme want to just go and get one substrate because, because already you have just few substrate in the field. While on the other hand, when you will have high Km, I mean when you will have a large substrate, guess this, guess what? You have a lot. So you don't need this large power. You don't need this large power to, to bind to the substrate because you already have a lot and you already have now just few enzymes. So if you will not be able to bind this, you will be bind this. If you will not be able, if enzymes cannot bind this, it will bind to another substrate because you have plenty of substrate in the field. This is very, very important. Again, the substrate high Km means high substrate means low affinity of enzymes binding to substrate. Low Km means low substrate means high affinity of enzymes to bind to substrate. Okay, all of this topic for this video is just is just talking about the substrate concentrations, not 
this, the substrate numbers change. Look at the substrate number change, not the enzymes. The enzymes which we talk about in the first topic, the enzymes just means what? Number of enzymes, I will show you here again. Number of enzymes mean gene expression means what? Means Vmax, means induction. Okay, this is from the previous video, which is the fourth words that you understand it. While in this topic, you get the idea of Km, Km related to the inverse of the infinity, affinity. Km means the substrate concentration, high substrate concentration, low affinity of substrate to bind to enzyme, low substrate concentration, high affinity of substrate to bind to enzymes. Okay?